so as part of the yesterday's discussion we discussed about the client client administration how to log into the new to create the client then how to log into the newly created client yesterday we discussed by changing the one profile parameter why means we need to activate the emergency user to activate the emergency user we need to change the one parameter that is called the login slash no underscore automatic underscore user sap star parameter we have to change it here so no underscore so user no underscore automatic user sap star equals to so zero we need to keep it and restart it then so sap star is the pass is allowed for newly created client only only for newly created client once you done it once the client is creation newly client creation is done you need to log in with the sap star with the pass right then we have to change the profile parameter in the rg10 rg11 we need to restart it that's what we discussed today sir everything is fine that's fine i have created the newly created client but the uh, with, uh, without, with i know don't know then how to copy the data here sir as of now as of now as of now here what will happen sir uh, suppose like 900 client you created either 0 or 1 we have to change it so that's fine so but here so you can only log into the sap star with pass pass you can log into the system right so someone changed, I guess. So that's the reason we are unable to, someone changed back to the normal again. So, so DDIC. Okay, so, so we can log in. So we have to change the profile parameter. We can log in with the newly created client with the SAP star with the pass password, we can change it here. So this is the parameter value. We have to change it here, right? So login slash, so no underscore automatic underscore. So user automatic underscore user underscore SAP star, SAP star parameter. We have to change it here, SAP star parameter. So we have to change it, one is there. So actually we have to keep it to the one, zero, zero, we have to change it then we need to restart the system we need to restart the system here go to the rg10 so the profile maintenance by the basis user means one of the basis user they are doing the maintenance activities which means they have already doing the some changes in the system here right so i think the person already opened the so already opened the rg10 rg10 open it maybe is doing the some changes right is doing the some changes so who is doing someone pinged here some oppo cph i can see the parameter value always zero this is the default one and then the default two okay so i think someone is done it maybe if you are doing then share your screen then we can everybody we can watch it someone who is logged into the sap client one with the basis user and he is logged into the rg10 at what time we logged in 957 957 yes sir yes sir i have done that okay you changed it right you changed yes, it yes i'm trying but uh, after that i joined the class okay you change it to zero or one no 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 i haven't changed anything just i have logged into that rg10 okay hmm. but to come back come back from the rg10 okay uh, you can sir cancel the session is it okay now okay then as i'm well i can go and what i can do i can remove the changes here so i can see the locks why because you are locked then there is a lock entry here just select the lock entry and delete it then you cannot edit it so you cannot edit the changes here okay that's i have done now so now i can able to log into the so rg10 transaction code then go to profile directory so in the default profile let's check whether this parameter value is there or not so here just come to scroll down it's a zero so that's fine maybe in the profile directory in the instance profile in the instance profile here 
So I made it as one, it should be zero. Zero or one, it should be zero or one. Go back, save, activate. Activate, restart the app server. We need to restart the application server here. To affect the parameter, we need to restart the our SAP system, right? Then parameter value will be affected. Then we can log in with the SAP star with the pass. We can log in, right? With the NW1 system. So let me restart. Sir, sorry to interrupt. So actually, uh, if you change anything in the default profile, uh, it will be affected to all the system, right? Then here, why it is a... Uh... In the default profile, uh, they have changed it. Instance profile also, they have changed it. Both are in the inconsistency, which means if you delete it, the default value, if you take it out, but they have specifically, explicitly, they have maintained the value in the instance profile and the default profile. So if you change it here, that there Hello. it won't change manually. We need to change. delete that parameter value or so we need to maintain the same value as like default we have to maintain. Okay. So some customers, they only instance specific, then instance specific only we can change it. Now I am going to restart only specific instance only to affect the changes. Hi, sir. In, in the sense, sir, uh, in the default profile, change it to the uh, uh, last day, uh, recently, they changed it into the application server, right, sir? Right, 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 right. Oh. <laughs> sir, in that case, sir, if we change in the default profile, uh, it will uh, it will affect the other instances, sir. Yes, no, no, other instance it won't affect. Okay. If it is a common for our remaining one, also it will affect. If it's not the common one, so then it won't affect. Okay. Only common things will be affected. Default means only default things. Default means default client. Default database name, default instance number. Those are the default. It will come under the default only. So SAP star, we can only one application server, we can change it or multiple application servers, we can change it. Instead of that, if you just remove everything, then we can only configure in the default. That is also fine. Okay, sir. Thank you. App again for the shutdown. Now, if you click the NW1, so it is connecting. So, waiting for the dispatcher to. So, it's taking dispatcher is taken. Now, immediately it is assigned to the dialogue work process. Then, dialogue work process is taken care of your request. Then, it's open the logon screen. So, now you can check the client here. Then, SAP star with the pass, just do that one. Now, you can log into the SAP star with pass. You log into the newly created client. Sir, as of now, I don't know. That is the reason I created the all my data in. So one of the double zero one or triple zero I created. So I want same data to be here. Why? Because each client, the data is different, right? Data is different. If you create the in one client, it is not applicable for the all the clients. Only that client is applicable. Why? Because we have the client dependent data is there and the cross client data also available. So here, so you need to, you need the data. So that's the reason, again, do you, do you need to create the data here? So not required here. If you have the data in the other client, we don't require. So that's why SAP introduced the, the client copies concept, which means we have the two, three types of client copies here. One is the local client copy. The second one is the remote, client copy the third one is the the client the client export and import method which means so let's discuss about the local client copy in the local client copy what is mean by local client copy means within the sap system here so this is your sap system in the sap system here we have the triple zero and double zero one client you have and also you have the so suppose like 900 client also you created a newly, right? You created the newly here, right? So you created a newly in this client also here, triple zero and so double zero one 
and 900 client also you created 900 client also you created here so what's happening here so this is the new client you created you logged into the here but my data is there here or here it is there but but with the same sap system only same sap sid only nw1 but three clients are there data you created here now you have created the 900 client data you want to test it or you need something then so you need to you need to create again no not required so that's why sap created the one concept they have infinite client copies which means you can copy the data from one client to another client you can copy the data so using locally if you are copying right that is called the so local client copy locally you are copying means within the system one client to another client you are copying the data that is called the local client copy using the sccl transaction code we can perform we can confirm the local client copy here so locally suppose like example within the hyderabad city so you, you want to transfer some data from lb nagar to miyapur or lb nagar to kopatpalli some miyapur so then you don't need so right within the city only right then you can transfer the data here right you can transfer the local transfer that is the domestic means local transfer here local local transfer so then you can transfer it via local client copy via local client copy you can transfer the data that is called the local client copy local client copy we can use it here using the sccl so in this case data means sorry i have created data here it's taken one month time again you asked me to create the data in the 900 client means again one month instead of that so we have the one concept is called the client copy i can transfer the data from my mobile to your mobile also are within the my mobile only downloads folders to desktop folder i can transfer the data right then that is called the local locally you are copying that is the local client copy in this case what we have to do we have to log in with login with newly created client login with newly created client that is called the so 900 client with sap star and pass sap star and pass password you can create it once you log in with the newly created client with sap star with the pass then use the transaction code sccl then select the so select the select the client which client do you want to transfer the date source client select the source client where you have the data then select the profile profile means client copy profiles so data means if you want to transfer the all the data then class sap underscore all or if you want to transfer the only users data you can select the sap underscore user if you want to transfer the customization only sap underscore cost so uh, so because data transferring there is a specific requirement right suppose you want to transfer go to the sccl local client copy here so then select the profile right so which means if you want to transfer the, all the data whatever there in my triple zero client all the data i want to transfer then you can select this profile why because they have separate segregated i don't want to copy all the data i want to only customization i want to only users related data so i want only users so select the users related data what is the source client here my source client is the double zero one then then you can select it then if you want to schedule as a background job then that will run in the background job if you want to run in the dialog mode you can run in the dialog mode then the screen will be hung good here right schedule as a background job then immediately you want to run the job schedule the job then click on the continue then the background job is scheduled the logs we can see it in scc3 go to the scc3 then we can check the client copy client copy is progressing or not we can check it out this is the processing client copy is getting processing like how many tables are copying total 103 tables then in that 26 tables are copying then click on the refresh button then what will happen the data is getting copied here right from which client source is the 001 target is the 900 client using the local client copy what data only users data users data you are getting copying to the so here so 900 client data so almost no 103 to 103 post processing is in progress then client copy is done completed how much time 
it's in the so maybe one minute one minute i think it's completed in one minute the other client copy got completed here hello sir sorry to interrupt but is there any prerequisite steps to uh, perform before the client copies yeah i'm coming to that point okay so okay, just okay. give me uh one or two minutes okay. i can explain everything okay and yeah. sir please explain about the uh, difference between uh, sap all and sap new profile that is the roles here, not the profile. That is the roles. That is the SAP underscore all and SAP underscore new are the roles also. But here also in the client copy profiles, we have the SAP underscore all is there, but mm. there is no new. Yes. SAP underscore all is for all the data. SAP underscore user means only users related data. SAP underscore cust means only customization data. So you want to transfer. See here. These three users are copied from the, these three users are copied from the, so double zero one two, so double zero one two, triple uh, 900 client, these two, three users are copied. Only users data I copied. So these three users, they can log in from, so their own user passwords from 900 client also, they can log in here. Sir, you are copying the data, go to the SCCL. So we are copying the data that is fine using the profile. So this is the client copy profiles here. You can see SAP underscore all, SAP underscore custom means customer. Here you have the data, mean, meaning is there here. You can read it, this meaning here, right? User means only user master data. So profiles means only authorization profiles. Custom means only customization, means development related development data. All means everything will come. All means all the data will come, right? So you can select it. May take very longer time, all the data. So user means only user's data. So that is fine. But, but my target client, my what is the source client size? What is the target client size here? Why? Because you are transferring the data from, suppose like user master data has the 2 GB here, 2 GB data. How can you say 2 GB data? So there is a report we have to execute it here. There is a report which we have to execute. There is a report we have to execute it here. What is that report? So. So then we can find out the here. If you go to the SA38 or SE38, there is a RS space, RS space check or size check here. You can use this report. We can estimate the, the size of the, the size of the. So which table? So like if you want to keep the X for all the tables, then all the tables will be generated, right? Maybe it will take very longer time. Then just only one or two tables, you can select it. Just click on the execute button. This will tell us what is the required size we required. 9 KB is required in the target size. Suppose if you choose normally tables, we can select it. Ah, just you can put the star, click on the execute button here. Then it will take very longer time here. Then it will provide the all the tables. It will check and it will give you the how much space you required for. How much space you required for the. So to perform the target side, target means in the target and our system, how much free space is required. It will give you the, uh, you should require, it will give you the information. This will take very longer time. So that's fine, but real time we can execute it. But before performing the client copy, either local or remote. So local, now we are discussing about the local. So always the prerequisite size is, always the free steps is, check the free space, free space at so db level we should have enough free space at db level that is the one of the prerequisite activity using the report called the rs space check or rs size check report we can use it there is a size check also i think in the recent version that is they have deprecated so let's see here rs No, size check is not there. Okay, size check, only space check. Space check will give us the information. Only space check will give the information. So size check is not there. So using this one, we can find out. Using this one, we can find out how much is required here. Then, so it will give you the information. So based on that, we should have same space at, so target means, if you check in the target means, it's a 
so it's storing the data in if it is a main memory then main memory should have the, that much of free space if it's not checking in the main memory it is checking the disk level then disk level you can check it out how much is required here how much free space is required it will check it out how much free space is required it will check it out here right it will check the how much space is required it will check here space space free how much is free it will check here so if you have the enough space only then that's fine so that's we are good right so like that we can check the free space at os level so right so if you want to check more then we can select the all the tables we can do each one or if you select the star all the tables will be selected it will perform the client copy so the client copy logs we can check it in the so we can check in the scc3 we can check it out scc3 is the transaction code there we can check the so client copy logs here if you go to the scc3 then we can check the logs client copy logs whether completed or failure or anything we can check it out here to check the client copy go to sccl local client copy then so from which client to which client so from triple zero to double zero one like that we can perform it right so target should be always you need to log into the newly created client so if you log into the existing client so either triple zero double zero one if you are copying from the any one of the empty client then all the data will get it get deleted in the double zero one client so don't do it from here just you can copy source should be the double zero one target should be the newly created client but if you do it in the reverse order so source would be the 900 the target should be the double zero one what will happen 900 client data is the empty then if you copy the data here then empty data is copied here then so you will you will get the data loss data will be missed here so don't do that one only while doing what is the you need to log into the target client then select the profile select the source then you can copy the data okay that is what we have to do it just click on here that will be delayed so if you do it here immediately what will happen that it will be hung your table so now i am doing in the without background job previously i done the schedule as a background job job is scheduled now i am doing in the here like start immediately in the dialog mode it is running means dialog work process taking care now see here until then until it finishes i am in the freeze freeze means i cannot go to the any screen or anywhere any can i cannot do it here if you run in the background job job will take care of you can do other work also while client copy is finishes you can do other work also here we are almost done This is about the local client copy. Okay. So we can just to <coughs> perform the local client copy methods. Okay. It's done. So background job is not executed now. Only whenever the background job executed, you will see the so data in the SM37 like. Client copy. Right, double zero one to nine hundred client it got copied. Right, so you can see the data here. So that is called the local client copy. Okay, so please practice it on the local client copy and the file systems. Then tomorrow we'll discuss about the remote client copy, then client export and import. Hello. Hello. Yes. Sir, is this process only for client copy or any backups? Uh, normal backups. Uh... You will, will be taking no. Is oh, it possible for that? Backup also? backup is for the all the data, all the SAP data. Backup is not specific to the client, single client. Backup is for the all the clients. Okay, the, this process is only for client processing. Yeah, client copy.